For this episode, I'm going to discuss how to increase the alkalinity and lower the pH in your pool water. Typically, alkalinity and pH goes hand in hand. So most likely, you'll have a high alkalinity, high pH, or low alkalinity, low pH issue in your water. Before we get started, I wanted to thank you for watching and I wanted to remind you to please like this video by clicking the thumbs up button below and also make sure to click the subscribe button if you have not done so already. And make sure to share this link to anyone you know who owns a pool so that they can also benefit from this information. Okay, so let us dive right in. If you have the low alkalinity and high pH issue, the first item you will need to fix is your alkalinity. The acceptable range for total alkalinity is between 60 and 180 ppm. However, the ideal range is between 80 and 120 ppm. If your alkalinity is within the ideal range, then your pH level will hold its place easier. For my setup, I found that my pH is more stable when my alkalinity is between 90 and 110 ppm. Even if I refill the pool, with up to 5 inches of my city water that already have a high pH, my pool water's pH stays the same and my alkalinity only increase very little once I am in that range. To increase your alkalinity, you will need to add baking soda into your pool's water. You can use an app to figure out how much you will need to add. I use a free app called Pool Mass by TFP or you can use whatever app you are comfortable using. Although baking soda does not affect the pH as much, it will also still increase the pH in your water. So, I would set my calculation to increase my pulse alkalinity to around 110, knowing that I will have to lower my pH after, which will also lower my alkalinity. After you add the baking soda, you'll want to agitate the water to help the baking soda mix into your water faster. And make sure that you have your pump running. After a couple of hours, check your measurement and repeat the process if needed. After you get the alkalinity to the level that you want, your next step will be to lower your pH back down between 7.8 and 7.4 pH. You can use muriatic acid or dry acid to do this. In my experience, when I bring down my alkalinity from 8 pH to let's say 7.2 pH, my alkalinity would drop by 30 or more points. But if I only drop the pH from 8 pH down to 7.4 pH, it will only bring down the alkalinity to around 10. So you want to be conservative when bringing down your pH. So that's about it. It's very simple to make this adjustment and you don't need to buy special chemicals to do it. Just baking soda and muriatic acid. I hope that this video is helpful to you. Please make sure to click the like and the subscribe button to help my channel and thank you for watching.